Hello and welcome back. Uh, and how are you doing, you all guys? So we'll start with uh, a new new program. This is like UPI transaction data analysis, and it is more about uh, doing the analytical work, cleaning data. Uh, not much about cleaning data because it is a small data. But uh, if you see see that uh, data uh, data set as an analytical view. It is a great potential, so we can start with doing the anal analytical thing. So first of all, we'll start with importing our uh, important libraries like pandas. Import the pandas as pd because we need it. These are the uh, primary or uh, pre uh, pre uh, primary uh, libraries we needed for any kind of analytical or data science or any type of project that we do for analyticals so import that import seaborn if you don't know about what is seaborn plotly or matplotlib just go and watch my one of the video on uh, plotly i have created different type of charts bars over there so you can learn lot more about plotly library even you want to see about uh seaborn uh, you can just go and watch my playlist lots of thing mentioned over there so yeah so we start with importing those library once we import the library we read our data set so data frame is equal to pd dot read csv csv and i'll pass my uh, data frame uh, path from here. You don't know how to get the file here. You just need to click on it, and wherever they store on your hard drive or local, wherever in the your computer, just give the path. Uh, it will start reading the file or uploading the file on a cloud platform. It is temporary. It will be there for temporary. If you restart this again, means if you want to work work it again after say after some hour or you um, just close this window you need to do the same thing means you need to read the file uh, because of some of some of the uh, user get some error about uh, reading a csv file so this is how you read a csv file once you read the csv file you just watch a first five row or if you want to last five row you'll get it like uh, so you can see here we have the feature like UPI feature means column. What are the columns we have? If you want to know the data frame size, we'll just write df dot shape, and we get a data frame size. So you can see here this is the number uh, six hundred and fifty four uh, rows we have and seven feature in our data frame. So you get it. कि हमारे पास कितने फीचर्स हैं। तो फर्स्ट फीचर इस UPI बैंक एंड विल गेट अ DF dot info। तो वंस वी ऐड DF dot info, वी गेट द इनफॉरमेशन अबाउट अवर फीचर। द फर्स्ट फीचर इस UPI बैंक, इट इस देर इस नो नल वैल्यू इन माय डेटा सेट एंड इट इस ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप। ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप मींस इट इस अ स्ट्रिंग टाइप ऑफ डेटा। देन uh, value by customers, volume, vo value, and months are there given. But if you see here, the month is given into a int and also year in the int format. So it is in uh, if it is a 12 means December. So we'll convert into a, 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 a month format. So first, we'll start with doing some analytical tasks like df dot. Uh, we'll see how many UPI banks are there. Like UPI, and you just need to type the column name. So you are writing it uh, right. So if you write, uh, write it unique values. Unique. So you will get uh, all the unique value in the uh column column name called upi banks so there are several banks you can see here 
if you if you want to get a value count of a same feature you'll just write need to write here value count you just need to write value counts and you'll get all the value count about it so you can see here airtel payment bank app is a 12 value count in our mobi quick is one of the app where you can use the upi transaction icici bank app so those these are the all banks which provide the upi services after that we have year column and if you go to year column and you want to check there are what so if i just put here a year you'll get all the unique value from year so you can see here it is only year 2021 uh oh all the values are from year 2020 uh 21 and you can just drop that feature so that's if you want to drop that dm dot drop you just put dm dot drop and here you can put a year as a column name and here as a axis if you give the axis axis one means column name and axis zero means row name so i put here uh, so once we get that you can see here my df is now i don't have the uh, column column name called here i just drop that now what we do we'll convert this month into a month format so i want that into a month format so i'll just write here a uh, list of months list of months in uh, so let's see what we get here you can see all the these months i have given here so i'll just copy here copy from here and now we'll go here write it down the uh, month column as it is after that df dot month and i'll put here a uh, rename rename uh, after that i'll pass my um, a column in that column if i go here and i'll check uh, df dot uh, month uh, value count dot value count what are the values in my uh, month column you can see here i have from from a month uh, from starting with one month one to 12 i have all the months in my uh, list so what we'll do i'll just convert them into a list format i'll just write one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve now i want to replace with my month format so all the month i have already uh, already copy form so just convert into a string format so it will be better otherwise it will give you a error may june and just check it is in a right format or not august september october we have then we have november and here you have and you need to delete that and december so i just replace my so i'm getting an error so what is that error you rename me i need to place the replace okay. sorry my bad now if i check my data frame again see in my data frame it is it is converted into a, a month format now december november it is converted into in, into a format so after converting that what we gonna do uh, so next step is we're gonna apply some analytical task over there so first we'll start start with uh, account plot uh, so for that plt dot and 
in bracket we pass a fix size fix size means figure size uh, which we gonna represent here so i'll just pass my x axis and y axis for a uh, width i'm giving a 50 and for a height i'm giving a 8 after that what we have uh, in data frame we have upi bank and i'll take that after that we use value count this is the method one of the method and i'll plot dot uh, bar and this once it is done we will pass some some we just check what we got here let's check can we that if you see i'm getting this but okay so if you see because i'm getting a name in a uh, in a 90 90 degree format because i have run this program before uh, before representing to you so i'll just write plt maybe because you will get an error or you will not get an error but uh, the name if you see on uh, x axis there is a air airtel payment bank app so it it will it will be very messed up with each one so i'll start writing plt dot pick actually i need to reset that if you, if i just go on runtime and if i run again or restart my runtime it will start again from starting but i'll do that for you uh, uh pick, picker params and i'll just provide the axis x axis is equal to x because on x axis we are doing the uh, name transformation so i'll just provide the x axis and after that we have a rotation rotation is an a parameter so i'll just give the 90 degree so that you can see uh, it will be same as it is because it is i have run this all the script or all the program before uh, starting presenting you that's why it is store all my value or all my program in the backend that's the reason it's already showing you okay so from this bar plot you can see the these are the upi banks which provide which has a good count count value means it is used in more than these apps so uh, this is like one of other banks this is jammu and kashmir bank app it is less lesser transaction than other banks so you can see from this uh, bar plot now what we, what we gonna do we're gonna do one more thing we're gonna use same bar plot with uh from c bond let's do that i just write keep the same all the same thing and uh, sns dot bar plot bar plot and i'll pass my parameter like data is equal to df these are the parameter you have to pass to the sns dot bar plot and uh, it will present you in a good format so on x x x axis what i want i want a upi form of banks and one on y axis what i want what i want months so i'll get all the months on y axis and uh, x axis i have all the transaction which is done by upi banks so i am getting sns dot module c1 has no attribute called bat plot name bar plot just sorry my bad again there is some issues with uh exactly this is because i have already converted that month into a so what we'll do i'll just copy this line and delete this line from here and i'll start my program again because actually i wanted to show you a different uh, kind of plot here but if i uh, do the renaming before that it will not be presented you 
after reading that you can see the shape info the unique values then we have in your year column we have only one uh, one unique value that's why we have dropped that value now you can see so now you can see at the uh, the bars before if you see before that we have a grid over here this is uh, now we don't have a grid because it is stored in all the uh, all the settings are stored uh, because i have not started runtime so now uh, i just restart my runtime now it is totally fine so let's see what we got over here so you can see here the bank wise upi transaction upi banks are there and every month how much transaction they have for a second month for not uh, means in which month they have most transaction you can see here okay so this is what we have got from this bar plot okay after getting that we'll move forward we're going to do the renaming thing so rename wala jo program humne kiya tha we just pass here and after getting that i'll just again check my dio once it get that now we we're going to do some uh, group by thing it is more related to a bank wise we'll check bank wise thing over here so bank wise and we um, have dot group by group bf dot uh, group by and i'll pass my uh column name ba bank after that i just take a sum so we'll get idea of what group by method group object has no subscripted let me check what's wrong with that so method has not subscripted what does that mean okay I did some mistake over here. You can see that now. I just write some. Let's try that. No, I'm not getting that because uh, it is method and I need to use as a. So if I want as index, I want that index to be uh uh. We said, I just need a read to write as index and false, so it will be reset. Okay, and after that, I'll pass my column which column I needed to be grouped by with grouped by on UPI banks. So these are the column which I required over here. So I just pass all this column like value, the customer. Okay. After that, I'll pass my volume with millions, and one more column we have is this one, and I'll just pass. I'll just write aggregation of what sum, what sum, sum. Let's try again. Okay. Pass here. All right. Let's check. So you can see here we are getting one more data frame. Uh, over there we get a uh, rows of sixty nine because we have sixty nine UPI banks, and you can see all the value are AU Small Finance Bank has volume of uh, by customer is one point zero seven million, and they have value in. Crores are there volume and here is the 
uh, value in uh, crores. You can see. So those are the thing we get over here. After getting that, we can do one more thing over here. We can get the same thing. Just write it here. Okay, and I'll pass here a month. We want that by month wise. So I'll just write here a month wise, month wise, and same thing we'll pass. So after getting that, I'll just check what I'm getting over here because I'm group by on what I group by on BM dot group by on month, and I reset my index. Because if I check, if I keep my index as it is, uh, it it will give me an error. So you need to uh, get that into a false. And after that, what uh, what are the column you wanted? Uh, group by with a specific column on a month, like. And if you want aggregate here, or uh, average, you can also check a uh, average. You can you will get a uh, average over here. If you just A B G. You'll get average over here. If you write uh, a sum, you'll get a sum. If you write a mean over here, you'll get a minimum value from all this thing. <laughs> so I want a summation from aggregation. So I'll just pass my summation over here, and I get my summation month wise. You can check here from August to September. I'm getting all these months, and over there you can see all this value. Okay. After getting those value, I I need to do one more thing over here. So let's let's do that. So we'll sort this value by uh, ascending false means it will be descending. And we'll get the top five value from the descending. Uh, now you you may have a question why you are using the descending. Let's check that why I'm using the descending. You can use any value. You can use the ascending top five from this. You can use the top uh, bottom. So I'll just do it for uh, and I'll just sort right here a sort and now. Oh, month wise, write down here a month, month wise, and then sort values. Once you get that, you just need to write by month wise, by is equal to. Oh, you need to sort with which column so i'll just write a uh, value dot rows and i'll pass here after that and to keep a ascending or a descending if i want into a ascending order i'll just write ascending is equal to true i need into a, a descending order i'll just write ascending is equal to false and i want a first five five rows so I'll just write uh, okay. Let's check now. If I check my first month wise, month wise, and check the sort, you can see here I'm getting a December. This is for a uh, uh, month wise. Now we'll, we'll just do it with a uh, bank wise. Let's do that. Here I'll just write bank wise sort. Here also bank wise sort. I just put here a bank wise sort. Sorry, a bank wise sort value. Uh, same column we want to use by values in CR. And ascending is equal to false and first five uh, bank. So we have phone pay, Google pay, Paytm, phone pay bank, Cred and Bim. These are the uh, five 
which are in uh, if you see uh, a volume in crores these are the volume in crores and if you see a second descent we have used the descending so i'm getting all all this value from descending and we what by using which column we have sorted by value dot cr on okay after getting that now what i want is so important i want to check uh, some uh, analytical view on my uh, uh, i can use it for a pie chart i can graph a pie chart so let's do that uh, so for that i have a code so we need a data data is equal to uh, from what uh, we have a sorted bank wise bank wise sorted sort and from that what i want is uh, values in crores and after that i need a labels label is equal to from same bank wise sort i just check it here and i'll put it here uh, uh i'll paste it here okay and i'll just pass my upi bank after that what i want is plt dot pi this is for pi chart okay and i'll pass my data after that i'll pass my labels labels is equal to label Table. and after that we have colors we need to pass a color so for color code i'll just pass one palette over here so let me uh, colors is equal to i'll just write uh, i'll create one more color here and in color we'll pass sns dot dot color colors or color color dot uh, palette and in palette will write bright bright okay after that i'll just pass the color to the color uh, and now we have one more parameter called auto obesity uh, uh it is into a format of percentile 0.1 f or 0.1 or 0.0 .0. i just write 0 and m f means in in the format of uh decimal if you want i take that we get so you can see here uh, i don't want into a decimal format if i want them into a decimal format i'll i'll just write it here one maybe i'll get into a decimal format so all the decimal value i'm getting here so if i want uh, up to two decimal i'll just write it here uh, two decimal i'll get up to two decimal value but i don't want a decimal value in my uh form so I just write uh, zero dot. <laughs> so these are the real value I'm getting. For phone pay we have eight forty eight percent. For Google Pay we have thirty nine percent. And what is that? This is like value in crores for each bank UPI bank. So uh, phone pay this this much percentage of uh, value we have. So if I want to check this for same uh, with, I can just copy that, just paste here the code, I just pass here uh, the next column called volume in millions. So I'll get all the volumes we have, pass it here and Q 
here we have bankers yeah i'll just let's check that so you can see 47 percent is the volume on phone pay 37 percent on google pay paytm payment we have 15 percent so this is the volume you can see and here you can see very lace on trade and very lace on beam that's why it is merch so we can do it with a, a month wise also so i'll just copy the code here uh, sorry i just copy the same code to paste it here and here i'll just change with a month to get the month wise volume and here also we change the month So now, if I want a month wise, so I'll just ask here a month, month, and let's check that. What I'll get? I'm getting the error over here because uh, a reason is this here. I have to put month, and again over here I have to put month. That's the reason. Like that so you can see here uh, the volume we have month wise is you can see and this is because we have used here a first five if you see here uh, here I have given the first five if you just drop that I'll get all month wise now if I rerun that rerun that Okay, actually I change on month. So you can see the month wise uh, uh, volume every month we have a uh, increasing volume so December uh, for uh, January we have 6% and you can see uh, till December from September we have a 9% November October it is increasing day by day if I have a data of 2023 we can compare it uh, with same data but we don't have right now that data okay so you can see the UPI is increasing day by day the transaction are increasing day by day actually I have change over here and that's the on above here I have changed so I'll just bank wise all data tha. so i'll just write bank here also i'll just write bank so i'll get a bank wise data uh, upi upi banks let's check that yes so keep it same as it is now again we'll copy that now we check the volume now we want to check the uh value over here so i'll just write value and i'll just pass the cr let's go cr we'll just replace the cr so here i can see i'll get the value c is in the capital so you can see as volume increasing my uh, value also increasing so you can see here volume also uh, a 12 percent increase rate so value also increased by same in a same manner so now what we gonna do we'll check our data frame and we'll convert data frame to a next level so now we'll convert this month into a back to a, our normal format so i'll just do one thing i just go here i'll just copy this line i come back to here i'll just copy this first list copy i'll remove that this also and after that I'll paste it here let's see what we get we'll converted our uh month into a 
a original format because we want that into a int format now we have all the upi uh, like 69 around 70 upi bank from if i start with zero we have 70 upi banks uh, so what we're going to do we'll apply the one or encoding over there so for that i'll do it by using the gate dummies because it is very easy to apply that okay so i'll just use the single column from my data frame so for that what i'll just write upi as a variable uh, pd dot uh, our data frame data frame and i'll pass my uh, sorry not data frame i'll just write pd dot read csv read csv and i'll pass my I think r is on later copy the path i'll put it here and now what column i want to use so use column is equal to and i'll pass my upi bank so only bank will be c u p i will get only bank name so you can see all the banks i'm getting on because i'm using the column upi banks over here so now we'll apply the gate dummies over there so upi dot banks sorry underscore underscore banks is equal to pd uh what pd pd dot gate dummies gate dummies gate dummies and i'll pass my upi so you if you just post upi underscore banks you'll see it is converted into a one hot encoding now what we're gonna do we'll just concat our data frame with our original data frame so pd dot concat 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 and i'll pass my uh, data frame first data frame and now second data frame is called upi banks i'll just copy that and i'll paste it here okay and i'll just pass my axis axis is equal to one because we are dealing with column so if you see here our data frame is now concatted and we have uh, 75 columns over here but the first column is not necessary because we have converted all the columns so i'll what about what column what what i gonna do i'll just df dot drop i'll pass my uh which column i want to do, drop upi dot banks and after giving that i'll pass my axis is equal to one so it will be dropped and now you can see we have converted our all the columns into a int format okay, or a floating floating format so this is my final uh, uh, data frame that i have converted into a int format if you want to apply a uh, uh, other analytical tool you can apply here you can do more twisting thing you can do more group by you can do do all graphical representation here you can use the plotly library over here to do more uh experiment with data set jitna aap data set ke you will be more uh, more knowledgeable about uh, uh, analytical platform and if you see anything you want to ask you can just comment it out below Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned.